Okay. Y'all remember the little Helen that used to run around the house? This is her. She comes up to me and she pecks on my leg until I pick her up. And she likes me to carry her around. But this episode, we are going to talk about a chicken coop, how to build a chicken coop, and how to save money on a chicken coop. You want to come with us? Huh? Okay. First off, let's talk about the chicken coop door. If you are a busy person and work, uh, or even maybe travel, this is a must here. You can set this to open and close via the daylight, the sunlight, or the darkness, or you can have a timer set on it. I have a timer set on mine. It opens at 6.05 a.m. and closes at 6.15 uh, p.m. So it's dark here at that time. Uh, I can change that time at any time I want to. It's very super simple to do with the instructions that they send you. And uh, they have that on sale right now through Chewy. I will try to put the link in the description below. But, uh, and Teresa also had something to tell you all about this unit. Um, when buying it from Chewy, if you download the app, um, it's called Ibotta or Ibotta which is kind of ironic because that's Teresa's family's name, last name, but it's spelled differently. <laughs> Teresa? Yeah. Where'd you go? Right here. I'm right here. Oh. Get me a switch for you. Okay. <laughs> Get in the shade because it's very sunny right there. Yeah. So I was telling them uh, we got that thing on sale at Chewy and uh, it was more expensive on Amazon yeah i can see you really good okay and um and we saved some money so tell them how we saved some money okay um if if you know about ibotta it's i-b-o-t-t-a and you download it it's an app and you sign up you can do grocery shopping at your grocery stores uh shop online different stores you just go in there you go to your ibotta and uh search whatever store you're gonna shop at online and sometimes they offer a percentage back. Well, on Ibotta, I searched for Chewy and Chewy was getting 6.5% back on a purchase. So we actually got uh, $6.50 back, um, you know, savings. So it ended up costing us $2 over the original price, which was $108 plus tax and then so it was like a hundred and whatever it was. But anyway, so we saved 650. So that's just another way of saving money, especially right now during these times of the prices of everything going up. Uh, I use Ibotta to do grocery shopping with. Uh, you can go to some of your stores like Walmart, Kroger's, H-E-B for us. And sometimes they'll have some free offers or uh, like if you buy the product, you pay for it, submit your receipt, and then you get your money back. So there are some things that are BOGO, buy one, get one free. I try to go and search for the free stuff as well as if there's anything that I need that I'm shopping for at that store anyway. So it's just a little way to save some money. This last month I have uh, been restocking on some of our stuff, buying some things that I wanted to get for Christmas. And we have saved almost $120 I got back on my Ibotta. So it's just you know if you want to buy those products it's it's mainly name brand products so uh that's it and you can do the dg.com dollargeneral.com as well uh they give a five dollar coupon on saturdays if you spend 25 plus dollars and then they also have digital coupons you can download and they also uh they have made it available where it's a, a calculator on your app and you can also scan your products to see how much they are so those two i use the most i use uh, fetch as well you submit your receipts they give you points for submitting just a receipt or if you buy any of the products they have listed on their site you get extra points so i have twenty-five thousand points and you use those points to buy gift cards. So you can buy $5 gift cards, 
$10 gift cards, $25 gift cards, and the gift cards are, uh, the $5 ones are 5,000 points, $10 are 10,000, 25 or 25,000 points. So you can go on there and see, you know, if there's anything you're interested in that. But those are the three that I use to save money. So I haven't, I haven't well, in a long used term, any of them. I haven't needed to, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and stock up and uh, get a few things that, you know, we had been using through the last year or so. Tell them about our Christmas dinner you got for your... Oh, yes, I think that's still available on Ibotta. You download the app and it says free Thanksgiving dinner. You can get, they list the turkeys, uh, Butterball is one of them their brand and i think there's two other brands but uh you can get up to a i believe it's a 15 pound turkey or 14 maybe 12 something like that uh pound turkey for free i mean well no it's not free they give you 15 dollars back so you can get any size sorry you can get any size turkey and they'll give you up to 15 dollars back on it and then they also list several other items that you can get for free if you can find them and that's only at Walmart. So I ended up spending four dollars and seventy-seven cents on a nineteen twenty-pound turkey. Yeah, twenty-one pound turkey, something like that. So there's good deals out there. You just got to look for them. Was that the total price? Yeah, four dollars and seventy-seven cents for that big old turkey. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So they gave me fifteen back. I only had to pay four seventy-seven. Plus, I got a bunch of free other items that they were offering. I had to go to two different Walmarts, though, because one of them didn't have it. Uh, the potatoes, you have to get the 8-ounce bag of instant mashed potatoes. Uh, you know, I, I didn't really need those those canned goods or, you know, items, but I wanted to get them just in case we knew someone or, you know, that may have be having a difficult time this year, we can uh, donate. Maybe donate them a Thanksgiving dinner. Well, that'd so, be good. You know, so we'll see. That's right. about it. My gardens are doing good. My lemons. Yeah. I just threw all my oranges because they taste like lemons. So the chickens are getting those. <laughs> but the lemons look really good. Grapefruits will be ready probably next month. Almost what, ready. One grapefruit, but that's enough grapefruit to yeah. feed two people. <laughs> I don't know why it got spotted this year, but it did. I'll have to look that up. It's yeah. rust spots on and the grapefruit. What is They're that one? Almost ready. Grapefruit. Another grapefruit? Okay. Yeah, two. There's two here. Okay, cool. And then I have, I think this is a lime. Let me, look. Let me see what this one is. Yeah, this is a lime tree. Your limes are turning yellow. So I'm going to have to take this one off. This one's probably ready. I, there's not many left. I've pulled a bunch of them. But those lemons are pretty much ready. So I'm going to probably pull those today. We should make a lemonade. But look at that. They're beautiful. Good size. Yeah, they're giant. I bought them like two years ago and we planted them this year. So, and then I have some over here on this tree. Yep. There's three left. I've already pulled some off of this one. I took some to your dad too. Mm -hmm. I just pulled the rest of the hoe. Oh, they're, they're supposed to be red bell peppers, but I went ahead and pulled them. But there's some babies coming on, as you can see right here. So we'll see if they make it through the coldness. Yep. Uh oh you know so just a few things this is our elderberry that survived out of the ditch i remember that little deer i don't know we, if y'all uh, remember if anybody's seen that one yeah but this is our elderberry we'll figure out where we're going to plant it so we'll see next year if we can get some lemon i mean some oranges off these trees and they don't taste like lemon but i think because they're all close together they may that might be if yeah. anybody knows about that or the cross pollinate uh, cross pollinating the oranges mm -hmm. with the lemons because our little mini oranges tasted like lemons yeah. yeah but they weren't that bad they were all right you're and, getting some serranos oh look you got I'm, almost, I'm thinking about taking a couple of these and putting them in a pot and taking them inside okay because i had a hard time finding these plants this year we ended up having to go to a small uh place in liberty that had them so and of course the rest of the garden is doomsday i gotta get in there and clean it up it's not that bad yeah it is it's bad <laughs> it's it looks bad. better than it did yeah whatever <laughs> i got this one cleaned up now i gotta clean this one up yeah I cleaned up the blueberries 
Yep, we got the blueberry. We need to get uh, some malt to put on that. And I'll tell you what, that dill weed has taken over because it is growing in everything. It is. Dill weed, okay. we had a big plant, had seeds on it. And if nothing sees this, this is our bay leaf tree she gave us. Bay leaf? Which is fixing to have to go into the carport. Yeah. And then this is some kind of mint that I grew. Let me see. I think it's spearmint. Spearmint? Smell it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Tried to do some elder, other elderberries, but they didn't make it. So, it is what it is. But we did get one. So, that's yeah. a good thing. And this is all that dill. Yeah. I'm probably going to move it under the carport, okay. too. Oh yeah, smell that. It smells like pickles. Yeah, it does smell like pickles. That's pretty good. <laughs> Look at your um, blueberries. Yeah. Let's started cleaning this bed, and I finished it the other day. But as you can see, grass is already growing. Already back growing there. back. So I've got to get some uh, mulch. mulch in here. Yeah. And get it cleaned up. Get the rest of that grass. Get them fertilizer. They're growing though. It's growing. Mm -hmm. Got a new bunch of new sprouts on them. Mhm. Mm they look good. Since we cleaned them up. Yeah. I, don't, I, I just don't want to mess with them too much because I don't want to kill them. Yeah. So, Look how pretty it is out here today. It is. It's a beautiful day. All right, guys. Teresa is home. I'm so happy. Work time. Work time, yes. We're I'm working on the chicken shed. coop and she's working, getting ready to go on our vacation in a couple of days and get out of town. We are going to southern boy preppers house again this year for thanksgiving as we did last year and he's gonna fry up a turkey and there will be a video on that tell your loved ones you love them because you never know what tomorrow brings and happy thanksgiving and merry christmas to each and every one of y'all see y'all